Sumter. The Battle of Fort Sumter began on April 12, 1861, and it was held on an island in Charleston, South Carolina. This battle was the very first battle that occurred in the Civil War. The Battle of Fort Sumter started on April 12, 1861. This battle occurred when South Carolina seceded or broke away from the Union on December 20, 1860. The Confederacy, or the South, had a lot of slave laborers, and South Carolina wished to have that. And because of this unexpected event, Major Robert Anderson, a Union commander, had his army at Fort Sumter. Unfortunately, the Confederacy found out, and they asked Major Robert to surrender. But he had refused. This is what led to war. for two days. On April 14, 1861, the battle ended with a victory for the Confederacy. The Union surrendered and the Confederates took Fort Sumter. One really cool thing about the Fort Sumter War is that no one was killed in the battle. That is pretty amazing because with all the gunshots, not even a single soul was killed. I hope you have enjoyed my presentation about the Battle of Fort Sumter. This fort was a symbol of supreme authority, and it was under construction when this outbreak, which was the war, occurred. At the end, the Confederacy won and they seized Fort Sumter. Even though this battle caused the Union to lose 11 states, the Battle of Fort Sumter still remains to be one very important battle in history. Thank you.